get teary-eyed because of the emotions that swell up in me caused by the memories that have been made. Relationships that have been forged and the experiences one could only dream of during the time I represented my beloved country as Miss Equity in International Philippines. Hard work would be an understatement to describe the efforts that have been put into materialization of my dreams. To the one who has taken a great leap of faith to entrust to me the duties and responsibilities I have now and making me the queen that I am today, Tito Arnold de Capria, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you to my Miss World Philippines organization family, my pro media family, my K familia, and most importantly, my mama, Tito Rojo Flores, and Tito Jess Soriano, who have virtually been there for me since day one of my journey. To the people who helped me throughout my journey, you know who you are. I'm just so, so thankful I get to experience this with you. Now, to the next Miss Echo Teen Philippines, here are the words I would love to leave you. I hope this serves as a reminder, hope, and most importantly, as a lesson you cherish not only as a queen, but as an empowered woman of today's society. One of the most important things is to enjoy, embrace the experiences of being crowned, but never let this get into your head too much. Because with great power comes with great responsibility. Be the voice of the voiceless and the guiding light to our next generation. Time doesn't and will never justify the experiences and memories that I have been with Echo Team. But I have to say goodbye to this chapter of my life and embrace the uncertainty of what's ahead. I am Roberta Angela Santos Tamandong, your Miss Echo Teen International 2020. Maraming salamat po. Hispano Americana Filipinas 2019, Maria Katrina Diegado. Being crowned Reina Hispano Americana Filipinas has made me realize that winning a crown is more than just that. It is a symbol of fearlessness and empowerment. I grew up with a lot of self-doubt and I was constantly looking for validation. Winning the crown helped me conquer my doubts and my fears. And today I stand before all of you, a fearless and empowered woman. I wouldn't be who I am today without the people that has been part of my journey. To my family and friends, thank you for always believing in me. You are my source of inspiration. To my mentors, aces and queens who saw the potential in me, thank you for guiding me. To my core team, Dom, Maui, Ian, Donald, Michael, MJ, I wouldn't be where I am without you guys. To all designers and creatives that I have worked with, Tito Pablo, Sir Nonoy, Tito Rocky, thank you for letting me showcase your beautiful works. To the city of Taguig, maraming salamat sa tiwala at walang sawang suporta. To ALV and the whole Miss World Philippines organization, thank you for giving me the chance to pursue this dream. To all Katrinas and my supporters, thank you for the undying love and support. To my love, James, you are my source of strength. Thank you for pushing me to be my best self. Filipinas, it's an honor to represent you. Above all, thank you, God. I close this chapter with a humble and grateful heart. Mahal ko kayong lahat. For the last time, soy Katrina Yagado. To Reina Hispano-Americana Filipinas 2019. Philippines 2019. Michelle Marquez D. When I was first crowned Miss World Philippines back in 2019, I didn't know my reign would last for almost two years. The pandemic made my reign challenging, but incredibly fulfilling. Humbling, but fruitful in more ways than one as well. It helped me open my eyes to the world through different perspectives, and I will always be grateful for the platform that this crown has given me. To be put in a position to help those in need, and to be a voice for change was always my goal to begin with. But that doesn't stop here. This is yet another chance for me to prove that we can all make a difference in our own ways. But if there's anything that I'd like to impart to my successor, it's to always keep a level head and a loving heart. There will always be things that you will encounter along the way, 
but as long as you tackle them with your best foot forward, you will always be okay. And you will always have me to guide you through. Soar high and savor this moment. There's nowhere but up from here for you. To everyone who constantly supports me, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope that you know that I owe this all to you. Michelle Marquez D, your Miss World Philippines 2019, signing off. Ladies and gentlemen, your reigning Miss World Philippines Queen.